Hi Gabby, this is Michael. Thank you for doing your independent speaking practice and I'm getting ready to listen to your response right now. So let's take a look at the actual question. You know an exciting secret about your best friend. Do you tell others about it or will you keep it silent? Explain why you would or would not tell others about your friend's secret. Okay, so we have that. And then let's bring up the actual speaking rubrics right here as I listen to your response. Okay, give me a quick second here. Okay, here we go. I will never tell others a secret about my best friend because I think it's a matter of loyalty, trust, and privacy. When my Now, if you use loyalty, trust, and privacy, it's difficult to illustrate all three of those ideas within a 45-second uh, imposed time constraint. Therefore, it's probably better if you focus on maybe one or two reasons. That way, you have enough time to give supporting detail for those ideas. My best friend tells me a secret. She trusts me with a part of her private life. And she I, like you, I like the use of the word trust there, and that ties back to what you already said. Me to keep it to myself. In addition, loyalty is an important characteristic in fri friendships. Therefore, Again, you're using repetition to connect what you said back to the introduction, so there's a clear connection of ideas. I like that. Telling others private information about my best friend will break that commitment. For example, my best friend Angela is pregnant. She told me last weekend. Good. That's what I was looking for. That's specific example. But she doesn't want anyone to know. Although those are exciting news and I would love to share them. Now, wait a minute. What did you just say there? Let me go back. Although those are exciting news and I would love to share them. But Angela is pregnant. She told me last weekend, but she doesn't want anyone to know. Okay. Although those are exciting news and I would love to share them. I prefer to say loyal to... I think you're trying to say even though or though those are exciting news I'd like to share. So even though or though you didn't pr you pronounced it almost like the word thought. To Angela but not telling anyone about her private life and that way maintain her trust on me. And maintain Okay, let's go back. Let me look at it. I think overall I th I think that you had a nice organization of ideas. Uh, I like how you use the specific example of your friend being pregnant and how you wouldn't tell anybody else about that because she told it to you in confidence. I think that was good. You could probably have developed that idea a little bit more. Let me listen to the whole thing one more time. My, my impression right now is because of some delivery issues, I'm going to put you right around 20 to 21 points. I will never tell others a secret about my best friend because I think it's a matter of loyalty, trust, and privacy. When my best friend tells me a secret, she trusts me with a part of her private life and she expects me to keep it to myself. In addition, loyalty is an important characteristic in fri friendships. Therefore, telling others private information about my best friend will break that commitment. For example, my best friend Angela is pregnant. She told me last weekend, but she doesn't want anyone to know. I would say my best friend who is pregnant, blah, 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 told me last week that she didn't want anyone to know. So sometimes you can do a little bit better with your uh, what I call grammar. You use a lot of what I call basic uh, sentence structures there. In that case, you could have used an adjective clause there. Instead, you combine, actually, you use separate sentences there to explain the idea. Although, those are exciting news that I would love to share. Now, th this is a good sentence because you said, even though, blah, 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 and then subject plus sure verb. Them. I prefer to stay loyal to Angela, but not telling anyone about her private life, and that way, maintain her trust on me. Yeah, maintain her trust in me. So on this one, I'm thinking my, I'm going to put you a little bit below three. I'm going to say 20 to 21 points uh, on this practice test. When I look at the actual rubrics here, yeah, I think there's, there's things with your delivery 
and your language use that you can work on to improve. So to help you with your language use, go to the grammar part of my course. I have a lesson called Sentence Variety. I think that's a good one for you right now. In addition, go over to my blog at BetterTofelScores.com and I have, uh, if you go to BetterTofelScores.com in the search box, type in the keywords TOEFL Sentence Variety. And you can get more practice with that. And then with uh, delivery, I think you're having a little bit of problem or some problems with what I call pacing. Sometimes you have some awkward pauses and hesitations in there. Uh, in addition, you need to vary your intonation a little bit more than you are. And I think you can improve your, your blending and specifically your blending within your thought groups. So to help you in those areas, uh, you can study uh, pronunciation lessons 36 through 40. That helps you with intonation and also lessons 41 through 44, which will help you practice with thought groups and blending. All right. So your score right now is 20 to 21 points out of 30.